Um, so next up, we have Zeb Weiss speaking, and he is a past president for Kentucky Native Plant Society and the past executive director for Kentucky Nature Preserves. And he will be presenting the Kentucky Native Plant Society Conservation Award. So take it away, Zeb. All right, thank you, Hattie. Um, so when I got the email about uh, the Conservation Award nominations were open, I uh, sent uh, Dr. Martin's name in immediately, because uh, I don't think that uh, William H. Martin has done, he's done more for conservation, I think, than anybody else in Kentucky over the decades. And so I'm going to give you a very, very brief rundown of some of his accomplishments. Um, I'm going to leave out a lot because we're not going to be here all day. we got a time limit. Um, I'll start at the beginning, though. Uh, he is a Tennessee native from West Tennessee, got his undergrad at Tennessee Tech and his PhD from UT. But we won't hold that against him because he moved to Kentucky a long time ago. He has, uh, was involved at EKU as a professor of biology from 1969 to 2006, with a break in there that I'll bring up here in just a second. He developed and taught uh, about a dozen courses in general ecology, plant ecology, environmental sciences, environmental ethics. He began the uh, university's division of natural areas and his research over the years focused on the old growth at Lily Cornet Woods, which was very significant. Um, beginning in the 1970s. Um, he was involved with multiple um, academic associations. He was in a with the Association of Southeastern Biologists. Um, but uh, oh, also he uh, published, edited um, many, many uh, research papers over the years. And he volume Biodiversity of the Southeastern United States lowland terrestrial communities, upland terrestrial communities, and aquatic communities. But starting right away with his academic career, he also began a career in public conservation, which to me is the real nuts and bolts of actually conserving the things that we value is land protection and physically protecting those populations from being bulldozed or uh, otherwise destroyed. Uh, he was a uh, very instrumental in the formation of Kentucky's uh, chapter of the Nature Conservancy in the 1970s. He was also involved with the Kentucky River Authority and several other public conservation organizations. But my opinion that was from 1992 to 1998, he was commissioner of the State Department for Natural Resources. And a significant part of that job was spearheading the creation of the Kentucky Heritage Land Conservation Fund, which hopefully you are all familiar with. Uh, Nor mentioned it earlier, and I believe Tara did as well. Um, the KHLCF is the state government's main mechanism for funding the protection, the purchase, the management, and the inventory of natural areas in the state of Kentucky. And without Dr. Martin, that fund would not exist today. It has protected over 77,000 acres ranging from very small municipal parks that you can take your kids to play around in the creek, like I do, um, to nature preserves and management areas that are thousands of acres, including um, significant areas such as uh, Blanton Forest State Nature Preserve, Bad Branch State Nature Preserve, which were cooperative projects with the Heritage Land Fund, Kentucky Natural Lands Trust, the Nature Conservancy, uh, without the HLCF, the state of, Gov of Kentucky would not be able to facilitate the protection of all those properties and you'd be used as matching funds for countless other properties. So those 77,000 acres involved tremendous number of rare populations um, that the Office of Nature Preserves uh, works on today. Uh, another significant thing as part of the HLCF is it was Dr. Martin's insistence that uh, every one of those properties undergoes a biological inventory. And so over the years, um, Dr. Ron Jones conducted quite a few of those, Julian Campbell conducted quite a few of those, but in the last few years, the Terra and Heidi and Nature Preserves has taken over that role and found countless uh, populations of rare plants, rare animals, other species um, on a protected area, populations that were not known before. And, and because the HLCF funded those inventories, they are identified and then managed because Dr. Martin also insisted on uh, management being a part of these land acquisition, not to just purchase them 
and let them go, but to actually manage the populations that are found, including invasive species uh, protection. So uh, I first started working for for Dr. Martin, he was chairman. Dr. Martin was chairman from 1994 until his retirement from that position in 2013. So when he retired, there was about 77,000 acres uh, protected. It has increased to a... Uh, Dr. Martin, the main priority was invasive species management and educating the local governments that were involved, the county and city government parks, on the importance of invasive species management. Uh, Dr. Martin has always focused on the nuts and bolts, the practical aspects of conservation, which I obviously really appreciated working with over the year. Um, he was always extremely practical when I would come uh, with some crackpot idea of, of changing something or other. Um, he always listened. Uh, he usually would let me try it. Uh, sometimes he wouldn't, but he always uh, was willing to, to uh, be practical to move forward conservation in Kentucky, realizing that some things you, you had to, to fight for uh, to get accomplished. So having said all that, um, I know Dr. Martin is in on this call, Heidi or somebody else to try to bring him on because that's beyond me. I am gonna share a picture if I can, if I can figure out how, of Dr. Martin that really exemplifies what I'm talking about, and that is, this is Dr. former Governor Brereton Jones, who was governor when the HLCF was created. And this is an example of him speaking to uh, someone with no background uh, on conservation and, and native plants and all the things that we care about, and and really uh, getting them to understand the importance of it and moving forward on something as important as on the ground conservation. So I'm gonna turn it back over to Heidi and mute myself. So I believe Dr. Martin is unmuted. If you wanted to say anything, Dr. Martin. I am so uh, humbled by and appreciative of this award and, uh, and appreciative of those kind words they have that, um, that I really don't know whether I deserve or not, other than <laughs> I was the chairman of the board and certainly uh, was involved with uh, creating the fund. It was a pleasure to have, uh, have uh, been in the state of Kentucky and, and, uh, and excuse me, be in the state government during that time and it was professionally the most important thing that I've ever done. There's no question about that. That um, in watching this today, and I've been here from the very beginning, uh, I am just floored by the kind of uh, progress that has been made uh, during the time that I've been in Kentucky. And during the time that I've known Alan Weekly, I've known Alan for a very long time, uh, many, many years. And so it was good to see him and hear what is being done with the southeastern floor and especially what he had, how the kind of information that is being developed here that uh, years ago would not even been considered. Uh, I was also most interested in uh, what uh, Tara's presentation was with respect to the nature preserves, which I can remember as well, in 1976, we helped to establish that. And uh, I was involved in trying to get it through the legislature as a, as a nature preserve uh, commission. And then it becomes the Office of Nature Preserves much later during Zeb's time with, um, with nature preserves. But I can remember as well, when it, I don't wanna to dwell too much on this kind of thing because people get tired of listening to old people talk about how they can remember this, that and the other. But I do remember when there were two people that 
constituted the Office of Nature Preserves. And from there, it has grown to the kind of uh, operation that it is today. And the kind of information that is being uh, gathered, disseminated, that is being presented to the public, it's just absolutely amazing to me. And I'm so pleased that this has occurred because uh, Kentucky uh, is a center of biological diversity of the Eastern United States. Uh, the forests of Kentucky are extraordinarily diverse and important. Uh, they're under a considerable amount of siege right now from um, not only invasive species, but habitat loss, uh, conversion, uh, the decline in uh, oak, which is uh, something that is of great concern as far as economics is, is uh, uh, viewed, and, all, and ecologically as well. What is happening with these particular species that constitute the, the dominance of the forest, the dominance that are in the forest today and how the forest is changing, but it's very slow, of course. And then of course, with climate change, uh, what is going to happen with climate change? I personally think that it's going to be involved with uh, drought here in the, in the center of the United States, that drought is going to be a feature that is going to be in the long term extraordinarily important. And so um, it has been uh, wonderful for me to be able to see all this conservation effort occurring and, and for the number of people that are involved with conservation today the 120 participants that are associated with uh, the symposium today, if I'm reading this right. And so uh, the Native Plant Society is extraordinarily important to, the, to conserving and preserving these native plants. And it is, an, it is a wonderful effort because uh, the plants are not living out here digitally. They're living out here in the natural world where the uh, pressures on them uh, are considerable and several. And so um, I look forward to seeing that more advances as in the short time left to me. Once again, I greatly appreciate this award and thank you for uh, listening to me and, and uh, I enjoyed uh, being on the program today and, and, and listening to everyone. And once again, Zeb, thank you so much for uh, putting this together and I greatly appreciate it.